I do much wonder that one man, seeing how such another man is a fool when he dedicates his behaviors to love, will, after he hath laughed at such follies in others, become the argument of his own scorn by falling in love. And such a man as Claudio. I have known when there was no music with him but the drum and the fife, and now had he rather hear the tabor and the pipe. I have known when he would have walked ten mile of foot to see a good armor. And now would he lie ten nights awake, carving the fashion of a new duble. He was wont to speak plain and to the purpose like an honest man and a soldier. And now he has turned orthography. His words are a very fantastical banquet. Just so many strange dishes. May I be so converted to see with these eyes? I cannot tell. I think not. I will not be sworn, but love may transform me to an oyster. But I'll take my oath on it. Till he hath made an oyster of me, he shall never make me such a fool. One woman is fair, yet I am well. Another is wise, yet I am well. Another virtuous, yet I am well. Till all graces be in one woman, one woman shall not come in my grace. Rich she shall be, that's certain. Wise, or I'll none. Virtuous, or I'll never cheapen her. Fair, or I'll never look on her. Mild, or come not near me. Noble, or I not for an angel. Of good discourse, an excellent musician, and her hair shall be... Whatever, please God. Ha! The Prince in Monsieur Love. It will hide me in the arbor.